Hello, today we are going to check the automatic enricher on your GUI 6 scooter. We're going to check it and test it, and I will show you how, 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 how. how. Your automatic enricher is located inside your engine, okay? Right on top of your carburetor, on the left side of your carburetor. So, put your seat up, unscrew the fuel cap, millimeter, they're bolt, two 10 millimeter bolt. There is two 10 millimeter on the bottom of your inside compartment, okay? You remove it. You put back the fuel cap, because if you don't put it back, if you make some kind of movement, it might splash in your eyes, so that's no bueno, okay? At this time, you can see inside your motor, right on the top of your motor. On the left side of your carburetor, you're going to see the automatic enricher. Okay. This is the inside of your motor. Right here, on the left side of your carburetor, there is the automatic enricher, okay? That gets connected with the wire to the alternator on the right side right here, okay? Right here, there's two wires. One is green and one is yellow. Green is the ground, yellow is the positive, okay? Now, these wires with the connection they're going to the enricher, okay? This way. Now, these two wires, sometimes they can be disconnected or they can have a little bit of a grease from the motor. So sometimes they don't really make a good connection. So what you have to do sometimes, you just stretch a little bit and put it back together, you know, make sure you squeeze them, okay? Right here, we have the automatic enricher and there is two screws right there, okay? So it's easy to remove, okay? And you to work on it, just to test it. Now, what is the voltage that goes from the alternator to the enricher? The voltage that goes from the alternator to the enricher is about nine to 10 volts, okay? Is an AC current, okay? So to test this, you have to connect a little multimeter right here on the right side. Now what you're going to do, you're going to take a multimeter and you're going to put it to AC volts, 200, okay? You're going to place one of these ones inside the black, the green one. So the black one inside the green one. And the red one with the yellow. So in this way, we are going to test the alternator on how much power is going to give to the enricher, okay? So ACV 200. At this moment, you can turn your scooter on. This is the reading that you're going to get to your multimeter connected to the alternator connection to your enricher, okay? It's about 8.5, 8.7, 9 volts to 11 volts. When your scooter is healthy, okay? When you have a healthy scooter with a healthy alternator, that's what you're going to get. At this voltage, your enricher 
will start to heat up. There is two connections, okay? They are going to get hotter and hotter, okay? And they're going to heat up kind of like a gel that is inside your enricher, and your enricher is going to start to open up, okay? Because when you turn your scooter, the enricher is behind, okay? It's back. As soon as it's gonna start to get hotter, it's going to get longer, okay? When your scooter starts to be settled, that you start to hear the noise of your scooter relaxing, that's when you're slightly going to have a less voltage, okay? At this point, the nose is fully extended and it's going to close the hole that is, going, is inside the carburetor. So, there is no much enrichment at this moment. After around three minutes, okay? That's the voltage that you get from your alternator, okay? This is one test that you can run to make sure that you're getting voltage from your alternator to your enricher, okay? If you're getting two or three, it's not enough to get the enricher hotter, okay? And get extended. Okay, if you remove the carburetor for your scooter, this is the side where you're going to see your enricher right here. Okay, this one is the enricher. It's called enricher, it doesn't, it's not called a choke. A choke is something that close the back part of your scooter, kind of like you know, the low mower or the trimmer, has a little flap right here that they close the back part of your carburetor to get the um, enricher or get more gas inside your scooter, inside your motor. So this is the part where the air goes in, okay? This is the part where the air goes in and this is the part of the carburetor that is connected to your manifold, okay? Now the side where is your uh, enricher is right here, okay? It's got a little cover because the enricher always gets a little hot, you know? So it's better to have a little cover. And plus, with this little cover, you're not going to damage the enricher just in case you're working on it, okay? Now, the enricher has two screws right here to be removed, okay? There is two green, one green wire and one yellow wire that goes in, okay? Now we're going to remove uh, the enricher. You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver to remove the enricher. Don't lose the screws. This is the enricher, okay, right here. You can remove this one. It's got an O-ring around it, right here. So sometimes you have to make sure it's not broken, okay? Because uh, you can have some uh, air infiltration if it's broken, okay? Or you can have some, you know, escape of gas if this one is broken. If you look at mine, look like it's broken. But anyway, this is an old carburetor that I don't use, okay? So this one is the top part of your enricher. This one, when you apply electricity, power, will extend, okay? Now, this one is uh, movable, you know? If you see, it kind of moves, okay? So it's kind of good, because this one has to go inside a hole that is right here at your carburetor. This is the hole where is going to go the nose of your enricher, okay? So, when this enricher, enricher is going to start, it's going to be short, okay? When you screw the start. So it's gonna allow more air and more gas from this side. Now, there is a little hole that's gonna go to the venturi. The venturi is this part right here, okay? 
that is going to get a little more air, okay, and gas. Then, right here, there is a hole that is connecting with the enricher. If you, there, is a, there is a pass right here, okay? This one is the pass that is going to bring air to your enricher, okay? And the enricher is going to be sitting right here in this hole right here, okay? Now, when your scooter is uh, starting, your enricher is short and it's going to allow more gas and more air to your venturi. The venturi is right here, okay? It's going to allow more air and more gas. And your scooter is going to feel a little more RPM, okay? When your scooter started. After a little bit applying a little electricity to the enricher, the enricher will close the little hole that's right here. Closing this hole, it will close the flow of extra gas and air combined, okay? So it will close the enrichment, okay? Now, after three or four minutes or five minutes maximum, if you feel that your scooter still has high RPM, something is wrong with the enricher. Look like it's not closing this hole, okay? Now, the enricher gets the air from here, okay, from this side right here. And if you open the bowl of your carburetor down here, This is the bowl of your carburetor, okay? In the carburetor you have a floater, right here. This is the bowl of the carburetor. This is the main jet, okay? This one right here. This is the pilot jet. This is the hole that goes to the enricher, okay? Right here. This is the hole that goes to the enricher. So, when the scooter start, it's going to get a little extra juice from here, okay? Now, when the scooter is already warm up and the enricher settle in the hole right here, at that point, this hole is going to be closed because it's not going to get more juice from here, okay? And bring more juice to the Venturi channel. This is the Venturi channel, okay? So the enricher will get air from here and will get juice from here or fuel if you want to call it fully fuel. Okay? So sometimes even this one can be clogged, okay? Can be closed from debris of the fuel, okay? Sediment. If you get some sediment right here, you can is this one is gonna be closed, your enricher might not work properly, okay? So sometimes it's just not the enricher, okay? It's the also the channel that you need to spray sometime. You need to clean this, you know, channel right here, okay? The system is pretty simple, okay? So it should be working fine. Okay, going back to the enricher right here. How can you test if the enricher is really working, okay? What you can do, you can get a paper with the lines like that. You can put the enricher on the top, right here. You can get two alligator connections like that, okay? And you can connect it to the connection of your enricher right here okay make sure you put the red with the yellow and the green with the black okay now you can apply a little current uh, to the enricher okay if you have a little battery like a whole battery 
you can do that okay make sure that this one is going to be stable okay so what you're going to do you're going to connect a battery to the enricher okay and you're going to give a little juice a little power now this enricher they don't really come out a lot but they have uh, at least five to ten millimeter coming out and going to close the hole of the enricher at the carburetor okay now this part right here will extend when thing is going to start to warm up again hotter okay so at the moment when your car where your scooter is starting this one is going to way be all the way back okay when the scooter after five three to five minutes will get a little more electricity from the alternator this part right here will get extended okay and will get longer so this needle of the enricher little by little will get longer okay and will close the hole that is at the carburetor so at that point you will not have too much flow of the gas so you will have a little extra flow okay So this needle will get longer and longer, getting power from the alternator, okay? So to test this enricher, what you can do, you can connect to a battery, 12 volt, and you can test if this needle will get longer. Because this part right here, the back part of your enricher will get harder and this part right here will get extended okay the extension of this part right here will be only five to seven millimeter okay So try to make a mark on a piece of paper and see if this part will extend it with electricity, okay? After three minutes you can check if the needle went down now what you can do you can disconnect the battery from the enricher to test it and you see if with less power the enricher nose goes back Okay, the second way that you can test your enricher is to take the multimeter, put it on ohms at 200, okay? And you can take the connection right here. You can put on the green one, the black one right here, right inside there. And on the red one, you can put on the yellow one right here. Now, this one it will check check for the resistance okay so connect these two okay or you can take two alligator right here and you can put it right here okay but less wire 
is better when you have resistance. You need to check for resistance, okay? So, if you see, I put the multimeter on 200 ohms, okay? 200 ohms. And it's at the moment is reading about 27.5. Now, if you're in richer, it reads between 10 ohms to 30 ohms, your enricher connection is great, okay? So this one is another test that you can run. Okay, after you test your enricher, you can put it back. What you have to do, just take this, okay? You put it right here. You can place some uh, silicone grease right here where is the O-ring, okay? And you can place the enricher back in its position right here, okay? Now the enricher goes this way, okay? You can place the screw back right here, okay? On the side of the enricher. Those are Phillips screw, okay? Okay, everybody, we just finished testing and checking your enricher on your left side of your carburetor, okay? I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this video will make your scooter running a lot better. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Feel free to subscribe and uh, try safe. Thank you.